Hey, good afternoon, Project Revive Online, and thank you so much for joining us this afternoon sa atong um, November nga series, which is entitled Purpose. November 1, Kalagkalag. Ang buti nung itawag sa ni Kalagkalag, no? All Saints Day, nis ato All Saints Day, pero ang buti nga nung Kalagkalag, ang kalag, kay ano saan kalag? Ghost? <laughs> All Ghost Day. Anyway, All Saints Day karon and then Ugma is All Souls Day, all Souls Day, but All Saints Day and um, traditionally atong i, i remember ang mga saints sa una and but but most of all akong i encourage nga if you if we want to remember saints kani mga modern day nga mga santos na to kani mga na mga frontliner na to ang mga doctors ang mga nitabang sa mga nagkalisod especially kani time na turon nga pandemic mo ni atong mga modern day saints and also kung natinga mo na nako Christmas tree dere it's because it's Christmas season aw lahi na gani diba nagsuod sa September katong si JMC kalimot mo ni JMC kinsa ito Jose Marichan yes si JMC nagsuod sa September but naw lahi mi og himuan eh but kabaw mo nga ako nagipakita because this is a teaser next week I will tell you the details, or maybe our host will tell the details about a um, something that we will do in Christmas. So, we are starting a new series this Sunday. For the whole month of November, we will be talking about purpose. Kung nakabasa mo sa katong caption sa um, atong promo sa Facebook, would be, Why do I exist? Ano naam ko ni Kalibutana? And what is my purpose ni Kalibutana? And does God even know that I am here? The biggest question of all is, why am I here? Well, our passage for this Sunday comes from one of the most popular ng mga verses ng gipang memorize. And in fact, some of you mautin in yung life verse. And it's come, it's from Jeremiah 29, 11, And it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You see, sometimes um, things don't go the way we want. Or maybe for most of us, maybe for some of us, not sometimes, but most of the times, di gud masunod ang atong plano, di ba? Ni plano ta mulakaw kani, and then di madayon, mag, nagplano ta nga, mga on ta nga kananan, but na, sa lahi ta nga kananan, tugpa. This, those are small things, but on the bigger things sa, sa itong mga decision is, um, we plan on going to school, but because of the pandemic, um, nahutag trabaho, or nahutang trabaho atong parents, and then wala tayong eskwila. And now we're helping our parents um, survive by, by earning financially. And this verse, wag na hulan nito, ato din i-claim ang verse nga, Lord, uh, Lord um, ningon kasi mong verse nga, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Make, Lord, maabot tayo ng time, ma mawala ko ang problema, mawala ko ang situation, and that on ko nimo dito sa nindot nga nga lugar nga nga mo flourish na ko niya mamaayo na jud akong life manindot na gyud kay akong life so let me tell you something about this verse ang chapter the whole chapter Jeremiah 29:11 and even the chapter before this ang Israel was in the middle of the attack ni sila during atong nga time nag capture ang tibok Israel so gidala sila Jeremiah was a prophet at that time and but dili lang siya ang usa kay daghan man sila mga prophets but there were also false prophets. And so, during that time, uh, gi-exile na, gidaan na sila ang mga tibok Israel, nanas sila sa Babylon, and nag uh, sila, of course. Kay, imagine na, kung ikaw, pinoy ka niya, i-attake mo sa sa Osaka country, and gidaan mo talang sa ilang country, murang mag-uol juga, di ba niya, magunahuna din ka nga, kanong saan mo yung kabalik sa, sa mong country? And so, these false prophets would say, ah, ay mong kabala ka, kay ang ginoo, muluwa, saranato, mo na yung gibuhat sa past kaya namdo mo sa time ni Moses remember at the time of Moses nga gisave ta si Ginoo just in the nick of time just the perfect ang time si Ginoo luwas sun ta si Ginoo he will save us at the perfect time but this is what Jeremiah said ayaw mugtuwa na ayaw mugtuwa na because there is no miraculous save karong panahon na that's what Jeremiah was telling the people so Bahala kung siya isulti ang mga false prophet ningon na ginoo, ningon siya nga. Dili ta mo luwas sundon. Jeremiah inserts this verse that he says, The Lord is saying, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Masayot ta, ma-misinterpret na to ni nga verse. 
Kay magunahon na rin ta nga kaning Jeremiah 29:11 mura din ni kanang emergency emergency verse ba nga nagkalisod ka mingon ni ka nga ah ni ug ginoo for I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper mingon ni ta nga verse kung magkalisod ta Now that's good mayo na siya but that's not what, what the verse is really saying Jeremiah was telling the Israelites nga bisag na ata diri sa Babylon we will grow here we will get married we will have kids but we will survive and we will thrive and we will grow dili lang we dili lang nga magmura ta magmuro diri magsila tag maoy but we will prosper even while we are here sa Babylon and this is what the verse is telling us that yes god will have a glorious future para nato ini magkuyog na tanya ni kamatay na to mao tunata sa langit kuyog niya forever yes na ana but while we are here in this crazy earth nga wa takabaon sa mahitabo as we walk our lives kabaot nga ato mga plants di gina masunod most of the time god is telling you in the midst of everything that's going on that he has plans for you plans to give you hope and a future and it's because of these trials kan atong ipangagian nga mga kalisod mga pagsuway mga temptations it's because of all of this that we will grow and once we survive and nila overcome nila to sila we will have joy in our hearts and peace in our hearts and makaingon ta yes lord thank you in spite of everything that's going on I know that you have a plan for me, plan to prosper and not to harm me. Karong pag one of the things that I learned during ani nga lockdown kani pandemic, bakay nagtanom tanom ug sugod kani ginagmay lang gud, nagmay lang nga tanom tanom na isili ano yan ba? One of the things I learned is that dili ni mo pwede i super protect ang imong tanom. What do I mean by that? Okay, sa una Pagsugod yun ako, dili na ko pa, pa initan ang tanom. Taguan lagi na ko palandungan kay nono ako nga kung mainitan na malaya niya kay bata, baby pa biya kayo ang tanom. So dili pwede pa initan. Pwede na bubuan ginagmaya na basta but I was dead wrong. Kabaw mo ano? Because you have to put it outside para mainitan siya and the the, the sun dili lang kay para para um, vitamins but also mudo mus para para gina motubo siya dito nya maka testing siya unsa siya kagahi nga tanom ang hangin matestingan unsa kagahi ang mapalit-palit siya kana mga bambo singana na sila that's why they are so strong because they are tested by the winds by the storm by the rain and this is the great encouragement for all of us what is that thing that you are facing right now what is that the trial nga giatubang ni karon sa inyo bang klase sa inyo bang finances sa inyo bang relationship sa imong boyfriend girlfriend relationship ba sa imong parents relationship sa imong igsuon or maybe you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ wa ka kaila ka sa Ginoo kabaw ka nga nay Ginoo kabaw ka nga nay Jesus kabaw ka nga nga he sacrificed himself for you but you don't have a personal relationship with him And in the midst of all this suffering, in the midst of kani kalisod kani pagsway, let's hang on to Jeremiah 29:11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future, a glorious, blessed future. Because Jeremiah is telling us. God is not gonna take us away from these problems, no. But He will be with us in the midst, in the middle of our trials and our problems, because that's when we learn to trust Him. God wants good things for us. God has great things planned for us. Ang importante lang ang motuo ta ana ng mga saad. The most important thing is that we trust Him. And we believe that his promises are true. And I've always said there is a project revive. You have to believe that God's love for you will never, ever change. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It doesn't matter where you are right now. It doesn't matter what you are going to do in the future. He will still love you. 
Ay, murag, kung murag, kung murag lisod kayo ito, tuuhan, murag maglisod, titulo na, kaya mail, murag limaw, katuo. You know what? If you want to talk to someone, just PM, Jesus loves me. PM or comment in the in the uh, comment section and then we will get in touch with you if you want to have a conversation with us. Ngayon ka nga, di man kulab ni Jesus, naam ko'y mag, nga nungong ni Agi, ko ani, kuya mail kong, love ako ni Jesus. Then type down, Jesus loves me, or PM us, and we will gladly have a conversation with you about that. The, our whole series this November is called Purpose. And when you start to believe that God has great plans for you in the future, when you start to believe na, na there is actually a purpose for why you are here on this earth, you have to believe that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And as we walk daily, kaning walk with God daily, ba nga di lang nga, ah, Christian ko, pero wala ay nakabawang kasi no, as we walk with God daily, as we grow in our relationship with Him, as we listen to more Christian music, as we read the Bible regularly, as we we listen to um, mga, mga sermons, mga messages about God, may we see and start to feel and start to know that we actually have a purpose in this life. And you know what? God will begin to reveal His purpose for you. So today, today, I'm challenging all of us. Choose to believe that God loves you and He has a great purpose for your life. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Come on, say it with me. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Let me pray for all of us. Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for your love, for your grace, for your mercy for each and every one of us. Sa tanang ginoo nga, nagtanaw ka ron sa tanang ginoo nga, um, it, na, nakadungog ani nga tingog. And for those that have, that have ever read Jeremiah 29.11, nga nabutang na sa ilang unahon ng money, ilang life verse, or even nakadungog lang siya somewhere, Lord, about ani nga verse. Lord, I pray that the truth of this verse, nga musulod yun sa kina, kinaladman sa mong kasing-kasing, o sa mong unahon na ginoo, nga bisag unsa mo giagian karon nga nga panahon Lord at the times of pandemic at times of lockdown at times of desperation and times of anxiety and depression and and confusion of why we really exist that I pray that you would start to reveal your purpose in our lives that you would start to reveal God your love for us that we would start to realize how great and how wide and how deep your love is for us. Lord, I pray you know, sa mga nagtanaw ka ron nga ang ilang relationship sa imo ha Lord na, na layo and somehow they want to to grow in that in that relationship with you. I pray that you would give them the wisdom and the knowledge on sa buhaton na and you would open doors, Lord, na makabalik sa ilang relationship sa imo and they would have the the courage to type then Jesus loves me. Para amo silang may istorya gino. And Lord, I, I pray for, for all of us as we go through trials and tribulations and temptations and problems in this life. That we would cling to your, ver- to your word in that verse in Jeremiah 29, 11. That we have a hope and a future. And I thank you for this, Lord. I thank you. And I pray blessings on everyone. Pray this in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. So Project Revive Online, ayo kalimot, you have a purpose in this life. God will reveal to you His purpose. Be with us next Sunday as we have a guest speaker. And also, ang atong announcement pod for our Christmas will be next Sunday. So um, join us and find out more about the details. But again, thank you for joining us this afternoon and have a great week. God bless you. Thank you guys for joining us this week. Ayaw kalimot, press like on the Project Revive page to follow us on Facebook. And share this page to your friends. Project Revive Online is our new normal. So, that's it for this week. See you again next Sunday at 3 p.m. 
God bless. God bless. <laughs>